So as you might have heard, there is a change in IGCSE syllabus. Pearson has now introduced a modular specification for IGCSC, and in our first exam, how we would see May June 2025. Earlier, our topics were like spread it between the two papers, paper one and paper two, and there was actually no specific pattern of the spread of the topics, right? But at home, we, we will not have any paper one and paper two. We will now call them unit one and unit two. And Amadir, J specification in the topic school, she will a unit one is 50%. How about that? 50% and the rest 50% will be in unit 2. So I collect a complete pattern where you said unit 1 is 50%, unit 2 is 50%. Which means that you have to do a different session in exam set. If you have to do a different session in the unit 1, you have to do a different session in the October November session, in unit 2, which is a very bad idea, but you can. Also, if you have to do a so somehow the result is then someone can repeat only one of the units. Problem uh, happened. Again, repeat the whole entire physics, but entire subject, which means you had to sit for paper one and paper two both again. But now, she can call like that. So basically, I can A level system. That's it. There is no change in the content, there is only change in the uh, pattern. That's it. Akonuchi, each of the units will have 90 marks and each of them will have 1 hour and 40 minutes. That is it. That's the only change. Baki, all content and everything is similar. So, in this video, I will be working through the sample assessment paper of the modular specification for physics, unit 1. And I will break down one question at a time in each video. So let's start with the questions. First question says the motion of an object can be represented using graphs. The graphs P, Q, R, and S show different types of motion. So there are different types of motion in each of the graphs P, Q, R, and S. First, let's analyze each of the graphs. First, P and Q has a distance time graph. First, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the gradient and the area. If I have to first analyze this graph, first I will see how the graph will change in the two factors. Secondly, I will see how the gradient will change. Right? First, if I have to see how the graph will behave, with time, with increasing time, distance is increasing linearly. What does it mean? Time is one unit, distance is one unit. This is a straight line. Speed, uh, speed is the gradient is the same. So, the distance amar is increasing linearly or equally with time. Which means, our first second day, to the 2 meter hai, second second day, it will be 4 meter. At a pattern, there is a pattern, there is a specific pattern. Third minute, there will be 6 meter. So, there is a linear increase. So, distance increasing linearly. Now, secondly, coming to the gradient. Gradient formula is y over x. Our y axis is a so distance. x axis is we have time. A distance over time Kishar formula speed it. Speed equals to distance divided by time, which means finding gradient of this graph will give me speed. So this is giving me Speed. Actually, we can work out. To me, Chale, you can at first, both of you can work out. I'm going to do it. J is 2, it is 4, it is 6. Now let's find the gradient. For the first one, gradient will be 2 divided by 1, which is 2. Second, 4 divided by 2, which is also 2. Third, 6 divided by 2, which is also 2. Which means my gradient will be constant. I will have a constant gradient. In my number, speed will be constant as well. Right? Speed is constant. In my speed, speed is increasing constantly with the same value. Constant money is the same. Same value. Okay. First term analysis done. Second term. Uh, graph Q. Ekhane time increase, but distance increase. In my number, 5 meter, 
তাহলে এটা অলওয়েজ ফাইভ মিটারে যাচ্ছে সো টাইম ইজ ইনক্রিজিং বাট ডিস্টেন্স ইজ নট ইনক্রিজিং হুইচ অ্যাকচুয়ালি শোজ আমার এখানে যে অবজেক্টটাই ছিল যেটা মোশনে সেই অবজেক্টটা কি থেমেছিল ইট ওয়াজ নট মুভিং এট অল বিকজ অ্যাট এভরি টাইম ইট ওয়াজ অ্যাট দ্য সেম ডিস্টেন্স ইট ওয়াজ নট মুভিং সো আই ক্যান সে যে স্পিড ইকুয়ালস টু জিরো অবজেক্ট অ্যাট রেস্ট now for r r is a different graph it is a velocity time graph and it is same with time the object is moving at same velocity so i can say velocity incre increasing linearly and eta eta gradient amake ki dibe gradient again y over x y is velocity x is time এটা কিসের ফর্মুলা অ্যাক্সিলারেশন এর না ভি বাই টি অ্যাক্সিলারেশন ইকুয়াল টু ভেলোসিটি বাই টাইম হুইচ मींस এটা গ্রেডিয়েন্ট আমাকে দিবে অ্যাক্সিলারেশন অ্যাক্সিলারেশন এখন सेम আমি যদি ক্যালকুলেশন করে দেখি এট ফার্স্ট সেকেন্ড ইট মাইট হ্যাভ 2 মিটার পার সেকেন্ড স্কয়ার অর 2 মিটার পার সেকেন্ড এট সেকেন্ড সেকেন্ড ইট উইল ইনক্রিজ বাই 4 at third it will increase by 6 just an example right because linear increase hocche so one unit time jodi one unit bare amar velocity one unit barbe like that so ekhon amra jodi calculate kori velocity by time uh, again same calculation ashbe so 2 2 2 and 2 same right which means that my gradient will be constant jodi gradient constant hoy gradient is giving me acceleration so acceleration is constant as well ekhane acceleration constant which means acceleration barcheo na acceleration komcheo na acceleration is being same at all time for graph number s ekhane with time velocity is the same na velocity increase korteche jodi velocity increase kore ekhon dekho eto kon jeroko gradient jokhon ami bear korteche it was supposed to be same at all times but ekhon jokhon ami bear korbo as velocity is increasing my gradient will also increase because graph is getting steeper so ekhon ami bolbo my gradient increases which means acceleration will increase as well so it will have an increasing acceleration graph that's it so we just analyzed all of the graphs let's solve the question now the table lists some types of motion place one tick in each row of the table to show which graph represents which type of motion first here we have constant acceleration just now amra dekhlam constant acceleration kon ta acceleration bolche etar jonno amra dekhechhilam speed constant etar jonno speed zero constant acceleration chilo for r so r increasing acceleration मानसिटी so speed constant so velocity constant so your answer have be p and lastly stationary stationary or rest akajinish which is q done and then state the feature of a velocity time graph that can be used to determine the distance traveled by an object as i said ekta graph e dui ta feature hoy ekta area ekta hocche gradient so amake bollo velocity time graph er emon kon feature ase velocity time that will give me that will help me to determine the distance okay first we dekhi the gradient ab age ki dibe gradient equals to v by t tale so, gradient ab age ki dibe acceleration oops acha so let's see area area would be area area time ya amra y into x kori y into x velocity into time right ekhon a velocity into time kisher formula seta bhai kori amra ki jani distance speed equals to distance by time distance is equals to speed into time here i got it velocity into time or speed into time is equals to distance so the area of this graph will give me distance so i can write area under the graph y un 